Hi, welcome back to Lewis365. Remember, click the bio, go to the YouTube channel and follow the link for the full length video. We're going to do uh, the second of McGill's big three today. Uh, it's called a bird dog. You're going to need to find a position on all fours. Hands underneath your shoulders, knees, pretty much underneath your hips and you start with your spine in a nice relaxed position. Not over exaggerated in terms of the hollow through here, just sort of midway between as hollow as you could go and as flexed as you could go. So just a comfortable position. I always tell people that if they can balance a cup of tea on the small of their back, then they're pretty much in the right position. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to set the shoulders. So this is the same as the plank uh, position that we talked about the other day and the press up sort of position. So you start with the spine relaxed between the shoulder blades, head looking down at a point between your hands, but face always stays parallel with the floor. We never want to be looking out in front like so, always looking down between your hands and you're simply going to raise the head away from the floor, pushing the floor away and just filling that that little hollow between your shoulder blades. So that's a nice strong set position. What you're then going to do is to take one leg off the deck and just reach it out behind you without shifting your body weight or hitching the hip. You're gonna think about that cup of tea balanced on the small of your back and you're not gonna spill the tea. So sliding that leg out, keeping the torso straight, just to a point where uh, you've reached the leg out behind, you haven't overextended again, we don't want that shape of your lower back and the, and the torso to change. We just want the leg to come out so that it's in line more or less with the rest of the body. And then put it back down, keeping the set position in the shoulders. If you've drifted a little bit there, reset. And then take the other leg out behind you. Again, no shift, no hitch, keeping that cup of tea balanced on the small of the back. And if you get good at this, what you'll notice is that as the, the leg comes out, there's not a great deal of weight on the opposite hand. So you can take opposite arm and leg apart, like so, and back down. And back down. Make sure there's nothing behind you that you're going to kick. Okay, so that demonstrates a level of control over neutral spine, bracing your abdominal muscles, bracing your shoulder girdle, keeps the spine nice and safe so it's okay to do generally with most back problems, whether they're joint related or disc related. Give it a try, questions, comments below. Uh, we're here every day, bringing you better health through good movement.